Hello everyone. This is Where Is All of the Expression Engine Work? Uh, my name is Caroline Bleeker and this is Expression Engine Conference 2020. Thank you to the Expression Engine Community Association for having me and thank you to uh, Consumer 51 for opening the gates to everybody. Uh, we have a huge conference this year. It's online. It's one of the only things like it happening. I'm so excited to be a part of it. So thank you for having me. Uh, this talk is pre-recorded. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be here in person too though, so grab me if you have any questions or just want to chat. Um, the conference needed both pre-recorded and live, and I chose this. Um, it's fun to see so many of you out there getting set up with your media, um, your podcasts, and your video productions, and I thought I'd give it a try. Um, and I also thought if I pre-recorded today and had the chance to record slowly over time, I could maybe also avoid making mistakes, or at least showing them to you. Um, but that's not the case. I get one take at a time with this thing, and so I'm going to try to get it done in one take. Um, hopefully it will cooperate. Uh, but if you see any rough edits in here, it's because it didn't, um, I swear. <laughs> um, but yeah, pre-recording definitely, I wouldn't describe it as the easy way out. I do have this fun setup, um, but it's definitely been as hard as uh, getting the talk set up to do uh, remotely. And at times it certainly feels like uh, maybe I'd just rather do this live, but uh, here we are today and um, let's do the questions live after this. Okay, slides, slides, slides. Okay, um, I'm Caroline Blaker, as I uh, introduced myself before. I found a business called Petroglyph Creative, founded a business uh, called Petroglyph Creative 10 years ago on Expression Engine and WordPress development. Uh, today, it's a small agency specializing in high value PHP CMS work for mission driven organizations, which isn't any different than it was 10 years ago. It just is informed by a 10-year customer history and the kind of projects that tend to come through our offices. Expression Engine support and improvement is likely our strongest core offering. It's been with us the whole 10 years and um, demand has only grown. When I transitioned from employed to self-employed, I'd come to a place in my personal development and career development sort of at the same time um, where I no longer saw myself pursuing a career in the workplace while feeling safe. I knew that the emotional drain I'd been feeling day to day was unstable and between the lack of prospects, my changing standards, and what kind of interactions were tenable for life in general, uh, the safest thing to do was the riskiest at first, which was to go out on my own. Uh, when it came to employment, 2010 was definitely the time before many of our jobs were remote, at least the ones that we are uh, considered to be worthwhile today. Um, the opposite appeared to be true uh, if you just looked, went out and looked for jobs, went out and looked for web development jobs um, and formed your own business. And I definitely had that ready to launch feeling for myself. Um, I had been two years in with Expression Engine and I definitely uh, felt informed enough on both my main content management system and the surrounding technologies. Um, you know, I wasn't ready by today's 10 years standard, 10 years later standards, but that's the thing about being in business for yourself. You learn and you don't, and it contributes to the, your experience. Um, so where's all of the expression engine work? Um, I've been thinking about that and asking myself that for 12 years. Um, it started like sort of the moment it dawned on me that I was performing at a professional level with expression engine, that my skill ha was enough to go out and get this bread. I just had to find the work. And um, that transitioned into learning all about this agency economy I'd never previously heard of. Expression engine had a lockdown market with agency clients for a long time. And many of those sites are still around. I kept asking to stay busy, but um, I've been so busy for so long that I've stopped asking because I feel full most of the time. Uh, but I'd still like to tell you about the thinking I did around watching Work for Expression Engine change and evolve. The community has always been there. Um, the even greater Expression Engine community um, includes people currently building in other content management systems you may have heard of. Many of us work in these systems as well. Uh, they're made by people we trust like Expression Engine and they're different from Expression Engine. We're lucky to have trustworthy people in so many places. Um, we're, we have good choices for different kinds of high value projects and I think that's great. Uh, today, Expression Engine is doing uh, fewer high visibility agency bids. It's okay though. Uh, we used to enjoy a sort of exclusivity with agencies, um, but the needs of this type of client have really diversified considerably, and a good part of the tech uh, they can now use comes straight from services and is built in for like in-house talent to handle. 
Um, so much more is available that the content management aspect sometimes is only a part of the entire website, which is totally weird if you've been in this as long as I have. Um, I bring this up because Expression Engine has its roots in what was formerly one of the most, well, still is actually one of the most perfectionist, high pressure, performance sensitive environments, the commercial agency. And that need got too big for Expression Engine. And um, well, it's more important than ever for project teams to choose the right software to support a client project. Um, but I wonder if sometimes we judge our own experience and worth a little too heavily when we're in this kind of transition. Um, with as many choices as we have, it's impossible to be educated about all of them. Moreover, it's a good thing even suggested that you run your tech career by specializing in one kind of thing. Uh, you get more for your time that way, but if you're trying to be a one-stop shop, this is unrealistic. Um, so Expression Engine uh, for us is one tool among many, and it absolutely shines for certain kinds of projects. Um, I'd like to outline a handful of ways to begin to think about finding good fit work for Expression Engine. Uh, before, before I get to that, I need to identify uh, where Expression Engine just may be the best in the world. Um, accent, extensive research, you know, over other content management systems, because regardless of the goal of the project, Expression Engine brings quite a bit to the table out of the box. It's a brick house, and it's letting it all hang out. Um, but you know what? It's open source and the, it is just kind of hanging out there now. Um, not your data, of course, but the code. Um, speaking of the data, I think um, at some point in the recent past, um, the latest statistic on the number of uh, super difficult security vulnerabilities it's had in its entire life is something to the effect of four. Um, that was a couple years ago. I wonder if it's been updated. Um, for over its whole life, whereas some uh, platforms that we've heard of and probably use uh, may have experienced um, that in a single day or in a month or a week or um, any sort of closed amount of time, four hacks sort of feels like a lot, but over the whole life, it's the most minimal um, thing, I swear. Um, it's always been tops for keeping your data safe. But nobody's getting in um, between the code and the feature stack. Unparalleled historic stability, and we don't talk about anything like this anymore. Uh, hardly surprising that we would stop saying this about software. Well, there are still Expression Engine 2 sites out there. Um, there are still Expression Engine 1 sites out there. Um, who's responsible for maintaining them? We'll get to this in a minute, but um, when I mention stability here, it's partly the previous point, but also likely, how likely is it that old sites are out there? Old sites on old software? When software has good stability, uh, they come up needing work as more administrators reach a critical amount of not being able to tolerate their website as opposed to when it fa fails spontaneously. And as we're aware, Expression Engine has great stability and these projects seem to come up all the time for non-stability related reasons. Simple, well-defined limits. PHP and MySQL, yeah, all right, and jQuery too. Um, you can still download and install it. It makes it extremely beginner friendly. It's incredibly important for people who are new to development or just Expression Engine, like a documentation. Um, there wouldn't be any no JIP errors with Expression Engine, no NPM critical security update issues with Expression Engine. Um, there are no uh, CDs or dot dot slashes. You can add them, but Expression Engine will work without them. Um, so the three of them are security, stability and simplicity, uh, we'll get back to these. Um, so I'd like to look at some websites now. Uh, there's this crazy list over here that is um, the W3 text list. Let me pull that up um, on my windows. Great, so um, this is the W3 text list. This is um, the list that Lydia Chu used uh, two years ago in her talk. It changed a little bit, um, but it completely changed how I view CMS usage online. Uh, what, what's perhaps astonishing if you're seeing this for the first time is how much market share WordPress has um, over uh, the next contender down Shopify. It's like 12,000%. Um, and it's not even a direct competitor. I bet they team up all the time. Um, and then it's just this, uh, as the statistics next to the names get smaller, um, they become less and less significant. And there's just so many names of content management systems going down. Oh, we passed Expression Engine, it's right here. And then um, as you get down to the less than one tenth of 1%, um, 
it becomes just this bulleted list that just goes for days. There's so many content management systems out there. Um, and I also wanted to show you the um, trust radius list. It's a popularity contest. Um, yep, read reviews and stuff. Thank you, so, thank you, person. Um, but this list has um, just a few names on it, 123 as opposed to what we might have seen over there. And expression engines here. Um, looks like it could be voted for. But what I'm trying to generalize here or say about CMS usage as part of like a, a, a something you might try to um, manipulate or look at for um, moving over to expression engine. It's just, it, um, it's tempting to generalize which CMSs would make good conversion targets based on history and active user base. Uh, standards, upkeep, obscurity, and things like that. And comparing with Expression Engine, the odds of finding a good fit um, alone just by CMS name are just impossibly small. Imagine for a second that you created a perfectly targeted AdWords campaign that reached one-tenth of 1% 1 of all Joomla administrators. Um, something like 1.5 million installs. It ends up being about 150 sites, and they all approach you um, could you take 150 new clients? I mean, you might want to. It's a number that's significantly insignificant in the grand sense of how many Joomla sites are really out there and like what could be possible by pulling a really good ad. But for you, it's something closer to, oh my gosh, I can't do anything with any of these. Um, I know if, I don't know about you, but like if I had five good leads in a day, like the world would stop and I would suddenly wouldn't be able to keep my promises to anyone. Uh, my business would have to grow and everyone would have to wait. Um, and I don't know about you, but not everyone is a good fit to work with Petroglyphs, so this is a formula for some wasted time. Anyway, um, surely trying to please all the people all the time is ineffective, um, but these people behind these websites that you do reach through these ads, uh, they are important. Um, the potential client needs services and they're gonna go where they feel heard and where they uh, believe a solution exists. Um, they need things fixed on their website. They want to establish a rapport with a person whom they know will take the time to understand and will ask questions from their wealth of expertise. Um, things you should ask them about is their issue with their system their un and their understanding of their current system. Uh, what do they need from it? And what inconveniences them? What can you fix? Uh, what can be fixed? Many of us manage a historic clientele, meaning that there is history of more than one other dev group behind the project. Uh, more than likely, you'll be one day walking into a new client, an expression engine, and experiencing at least 10 years of code with evidence of all of the different strategies that have been built into the website over its specific course of time and business. Um, there's a ton of old sites out there, but the same also goes for new sites. Um, if security and stability are a priority then the, and the customer wants to understand what's going on or do some light work on the side, you've got an easy performant pick here. Uh, if they're tired of avoiding hacks and keeping up with security updates, um, are they completely over their old systems workarounds to their workflows that don't directly allow them to get their web tasks completed? Um, is there no good solution for what they're meaning to accomplish with what they already have? Um, has other free software shown its backside? Uh, the interests of modeling potential client interactions, I've put together some pitches to talk about uh, potential messaging around expression engine projects. Uh, never get hacked again is an extremely powerful message to people who have been dealing with platforms where security isn't prioritized. If it sounds too good to be true, it's because it's been normalized by more popular, less secure platforms. Facts don't lie. Um, we'll have to be willing to speak to the strongest aspects of our software if we're not telling and if we're not telling clients or generalized audiences about this benefit of having an Expression Engine website, nobody will. Uh, get the word out about Expression Engine's security capability over a long period of time and ultimately um, assure that people are, will ultimately assure that people who are looking for this feature of their software will hear about Expression Engine and start asking for it. Um, I full on came here today sort of ready to say that EE sites never get hacked and I knew I was tempting fate by saying that. And here's the proof that that was actually the case. Um, our friend Doug Black, um, with the models talk uh, at this conference, um, got hacked yesterday. Um, check it out, it was Expression Engine 2. Um, but it's a wonderful example of what it takes to hack Expression Engine. You need like anonymous FTP on your server. Um, and that probably did it actually, PHP 5.3. 
Um, there's so much here, um, but we're. Uh, this is such an unusual event that um, that I had to ask about it, and of course I've covered it here. So, um, Expression Engine that I know of has been hacked one time, folks, in um, the last I don't know how long, and um, you can see what had to happen for that to take place. Um, there are many, many sites out there stuck in old software, um, old platforms, old versions. Some of them are expression engine and some are not. Some of them got a responsive overhaul and some are too young. Uh, my point is people want this lasting stability thing. Um, this what we consider stasis is a benefit to some clients who have, a min who have minimal easygoing ongoing updates and not a ton of structural change all the time. Um, and it is offered by so few modern platforms. Uh, you can encourage clients to move out of older open source platforms to the newest thing in open source with data showing improvements and speed and ease of use. Certainly any content management system that has you updating pages and single text fields while fighting with the rich text editor could easily see the benefits of a fluid field. While learning that the software is as stable as theirs and gets hacked 99.9% .9 fewer times on average, uh, you get where I'm going with this. Um, this, uh, this goes out to the Squarespace and the Wix grads. Um, the folks who went in with, I just want to update my products and are now getting annoyed at fees, uh, changing terms, the inability to have custom displays or features, um, the inconsistent formatting options, the limited views being trapped in a limited template. Uh, the promise of an instantly beautiful do-it-yourself website that makes money can be alluring. But it can prove to be impossible after discovering the particular templates, constraints, or the system's limits for formatting normal text. Um, people come to these platforms with no web building experience, and they leave not only with that experience, but with a list of what they need from a platform um, that theirs won't do. Uh, same goes for any client leaving any platform. They come in on a promise, and they leave with a list of a lot of specifics. Um, uh, like. I mentioned earlier, no CDs, no dot dot slashes, or no JIP errors, no terminal commands in general to get expression up and running, just a little MySQL config. It's so friendly. Um, it's difficult to imagine a better scenario in development for new developers uh, who are so important in our community. I entered the expression engine economy in 2008 and went out in 2010 as I already covered, but in version 1.6.3, um, from as a WordPress developer, and I remember that I had all the skills I needed from my introduction to WordPress uh, to work in and do more in Expression Engine. Somewhere, someone you know knows somebody who doesn't want to go to work tomorrow because the website they manage produces strings of HTML so arcane and convoluted that they feel completely defeated by baseline HTML and hopeless about learning more because of how badly they messed it up that one time. These poor administrators might really like web development and be really good at their jobs, but they are no match for that text editor, man, and they have no idea how to make it better. Uh, somewhere else, someone has a three, uh, three recipe add-ons configured on their site. Um, the first two stop being updated, and the third stores data in anonymous uh, key JSON sets in the database. They have 1,500 unique recipes. Um, I'm not going to show you that site, but I'm going to show you that these kinds of scenarios are extremely common. They're like mentioning before, there's 1.5 million live Joomla websites out there. Um, somewhere, somewhere, someone is looking for this. Um, and the aged platform speaks, or sorry, it's age and it, for, as far as Joomla goes, it's age and history as a platform speaks to its stability. Um, both the sites that I moved over lean primarily on uh, one WYSIWYG editor for content, while um, narrow scope add-ons uh, that followed individual developer co conventions um, that would have no place in Expression Engine sort of locked down other fields um, of content um, into the, the sorts of uh, roles they were meant to have. Um, this is extremely common for a highly saturated add-on market. Um, where even the most basic actual content management functionality needs to be added uh, to a website in order for it to be managed. Um, Expression Engine's ability to provide these kinds of functionalities out of the box sets it apart. Um, that's right. Uh, our secure and stable software allows for highly customized content types without adding special software 
Um, but this messaging um, is up to us to clarify. Uh, for example, does Expression Engine not have 60 uh, conflicting add-ons for recipes because we don't develop for recipes? Of course not. We might need, we might have these favorite setups or um, have done it once for a client who needed it. Um, and so we had these setups and they all have merit. And uh, that's a really good foundation for a blog post um, uh, or just material. Uh, However, we don't get that like that sort of add-on naming convention that some of the other um, CMSs might be shopped by. Here we go. Um, you get a call. Our website no longer works. Can you help? Uh, chances are the host has finally lurched to PHP 7 and nothing works anymore. Um, the company must make a decision to upgrade to start over. Um, Tell them experience-based stories about these kinds of projects and see what gets them excited. Um, whatever gets them excited is likely pointing to a functional process issue they are eager to solve. Uh, clients get used to old, worn processes as just the way it has to be. Same with websites. Um, your upgrade process, including a high-value streamlining of their web administration process, uh, will create value they didn't expect to be possible, and for that, you'll be a hero. Um, uh, these stories relay my experience, but I want to point out that all I'm doing is taking like some scenarios uh, and matching them with Expression Engine's strong points. Uh, if you know your software's strong performance areas and keep them top of mind, you'll be able to respond confidently and accurately as you discuss with clients the issues that are coming up for them on their website. Um, so express, my point is, Expression Engine work is in a completely diversified set of sources. It's anywhere that Expression Engine's design as a software is needed or missed, and it's especially where it is being compensated for by increased measures on security, uh, inordinate administration time, or insane cash structures. Um, I've used the word astronomical, I think, to describe the potential for expression engine work relating to us, the developers, and I mean it. I'll be extremely productive if my count of expression engine websites ever reaches that one-tenth of one percent um, of Joomla sites, uh, a statistically insignificant figure um, per where it, it is derived from. Um, people still need stability, security, and simplicity out of their websites. All the best ones have it. And we're sitting on this pile of gold just uh, waiting for someone to decide uh, where we should go next. But that's really up to you. Folks, to steal a phrase from the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico, it's time to start bragging. Uh, you can pick a target CMS. You can pick company marketing managers. You can pick a phrase on Google like such and such got hacked. You can pick growing small businesses. You can pick a niche that your family has worked in for generations with you being the sole outlier. Um, if everybody at this conference picked a niche today, Expression Engine would have over 300 new viable niches. Um, the more you know about what you pick, the closer you're going to be to identifying your new client's issues as they describe them and being very direct about your ability to help. Um, again, the niches, if we had 300, some of the, these would overlap, but we need overlap. Uh, we need more than one expression engine shop uh, quote it, uh, competing on at least some of level for some of the similar work. Uh, WordPress has a lot of competition and it's popular as a client and product because developers picked it up for free and were empowered to make websites in almost the same day. The evidence of the success of that growth path is undeniable. Uh, to create more market share for expression engine and to have clients think of us first, it wouldn't hurt for our population to grow a little bit either. As a business owner um, or as a lead of whatever effort you're involved in, and I'm speaking to myself here too, there's a lot of room for new leaders to emerge in this economy. Um, I have a list here. Keep an eye to the competition, seeing um, what the competition is bringing to the table and what is trendy um, may help you when, may help us when um, suddenly it, it's popular and uh, we need someone to come through and make things. Um, find missions for websites where security and stability are a needed priority. That's just about all of them. Um, they, uh, they will be uh, more or less easy to identify. Um, speak and advertise loudly and specifically about the difference you can make in the life of an organization that struggles with web software. And then, of course, um, 
please publish your code, please publish your common loops, please publish them for you as a side note to keep them on file and keep them public and marked as expression engine for the rest of us. Um, amplify each other's voices, share helpful things, um, hire each other, please. Um, also, if you have an active marketing budget, put the words in expression engine into type on your dime and tell people why you're doing it. Building add-ons is uh, in the hands dirty developers way is to build a scaffold and start investigating what's possible. But this method leaves a lot to be desired for newcomers to add-on building. Um, one effective way to get people through the door here might be to have a small library of open source add-ons made by commercial add-on developers that have reached a level of explanation in their comments in that code that can be read like the Sunday paper. Um, so many add-on developers have sample add-ons for workshops and such. I mean, full copy-paste expectations here, um, self-contained PHP code to put working illustrated examples from the add-on function reference docs in your applications. You should also talk to Doug Black and uh, check out his uh, scaffolding uh, generator that he's made for Expression Engine add-on development. Um, I'd like to also see an economy where Expression Engine rolls in community functionality uh, from open source add-ons on sort of a, a regular clip. Um, this would provide additional incentive to developers to, to extend Expression Engine for their own purposes and then to put it out there. Uh, much like awards opportunities here, um, this could help amplify community engagement and provide a secondary reward system for improvements to the code base. When I think about my business and its potential to go into the future, um, I'm completely unconcerned about finding new business. Um, as an expression engine developer, my content management system, my experience, I have everything I need to go find more stuff to do. I've never built a funnel for my site or used AdWords in a professional way. And yet I'm too busy um, to be the sole leader of any of the ideas I presented here today. Instead, I, re I wonder uh, where more community capacity is going to come from. I wonder if I'm going to have to politely decline a life-changing opportunity in the future because the shop doesn't have the capacity. I worry that people won't get the help they need because I can't help them. I worry about not being able to make contributions like this. Um, and then there's my ailing blog or to keep up with current tech or whatever else because the work is always first for my time and it takes it all. Um, which brings me to beginners being our uh, greatest untapped resource. Um, you're here today and that's so great. Uh, are you a WordPress grad, a Wix grad? Um, are you a marketing manager who can't stay out of the code? Uh, we see you. Um, code, coding camp grads, career jumpers, we see you and we need you and there's room for you here. Um, I'm not giving away uh, any secrets today because I want to show off some years of contemplation or to look good on Twitter. I'm here because the model I see for growth is so full of potential, I'm practically choking on it. Um, with a complete lack of time, budget, and help to see things through independently. Um, without work of others benefiting and passing down the benefit to junior coders and their fresh perspectives, my business can't grow. Um, businesses with websites are looking for your help. Uh, many of them will take the path of least resistance in finding a provider. Uh, please be out there saying what you do. Please be out there documenting one or the one or two last things you did publicly and not judging them. Please be out there telling people they can avoid a few number of key pitfalls. And if you have the room in your schedule for more EE work, uh, don't be out there, come directly to me. Uh, yes, this whole talk was self-serving in that way. Expression Engine's staying power on the internet is exponential compared to some of its competition. Uh, simple setup, stable code, and peerless security. Uh, these are the things that make web apps stay. I think the real question is, can we as a community keep up? Can we proudly advertise our service and our product? Um, can we cheer our contributors and make meaningful contributions ourselves? Um, are we ready to take Expression Engine into the future and tell the story ourselves? Um, I am, uh, but I can't do it without your help. And so I hope you'll join me. The more people sing the song and the bigger the reward, uh, the, the bigger the reward will be for every person involved. Um, and now it's time to stop the recording and answer your questions. Thank you so much for attending. <laughs>